Hi, this is Kavita Mardeka. Welcome to my channel, Crochet Creations by Kavita Mardeka. We are making today this beautiful stitch. This is Moroccan tile stitch. We need minimum two colors for this, and with more colors, it looks more beautiful. We are working with a light color yarn and a dark color yarn actually. And I am taking this hook size is 3.5 mm and this is 4 ply yarn. So let's start. For this stitch we need multiple of 3 plus 2 stitches. So I am taking 24 stitches plus 2 stitches for this uh, swatch. Here in this stitch we are working two rows in the same direction. So after making this first row we have to come again here the starting point of this first row and we will make second row from this direction here. So this is how we are working two rows in the same directions. So let's start with 26 chains here. So these are 26 chains multiple of 3 plus 2 and insert the hook in the second chain from the hook. So this is first and this is second we will insert here our hook and make a single crochet there. Then 2 chain and skip 2 chains from the foundation 1, 2 and in the third we will make a single crochet again. Now we will make 2 chain. So every time we will make 2 chain and skip 2 chains from the foundation and in the next chain we will make single crochet. So this is how we are creating these holes by making 2 chains and skipping 2 chains of the foundation row. So 2 chain and skip 2 chains from the foundation row and in the next chain space we will make single crochet 2 chain skip 2 chain from the foundation and in the next we will make single crochet and this is how we are making two chains and a single crochet till the end. So in the last we have three chain left. So in this last stitch we will make a single crochet here. After making these two chains we will make a single crochet. So this is how we have created this space or a hole to create our pattern. So we are working two rows in the same direction. So our first row is completed. Now we will keep the loop hanging here. You can secure it with the stitch marker and keep that loop hanging here and we will start our new next row here in this stitch in the turning chain we have kept we will insert our hook in this last chain and take new color here so this is our 
बेज कलर और अ कलर ए एंड अ न्यू कलर इज कलर बी नाउ सो वी विल मेक अ लूप हियर एंड वी विल पुल थ्रू द एंड क्लोज इट नाउ वी विल मेक थ्री चेन एंड इन दिस होल फर्स्ट होल वी विल मेक थ्री डी सी थ्री डी सी क्लस्टर सो वन टू एंड थ्री सो वी हैव क्रिएटेड थ्री डी सी क्लस्टर इन द फर्स्ट होल नाउ वी विल मेक अ वन चेन हियर एंड अगेन वी विल मेक अ नेक्स्ट क्लस्टर इन दिस होल सो एवरी टाइम वी विल मेक थ्री डी सी क्लस्टर इन दिस होल्स एंड मेक वन चेन बिटवीन दिज टू क्लस्टर्स perfect this is how we have created two clusters now for the third cluster we will make a one chain first and then three dc in this hole and likewise we will complete this row so in this last hole we will make Three DC cluster. Before that, we'll make one chain and three DC is here. After that, we'll make one chain. Like every after three DC, we make one chain. So we'll make one chain here, and then a single crochet here in this. where the loop is hanging we will make a single crochet there here so this is how we finish this row now for the next row we are taking this previous color again on the hook so for that we need to pull this loop a uh, color a loop through the color b loop so insert the hanging loop on the hook and pull it tightly and pull that previous uh, through the previous loop through the next loop or the working loop and make it tight like this so now this two rows in the same direction completed now we will make two chain so every time when we start this color a we will make two chain and we will turn our project and now we will make a v stitch here for the v stitch we always working between the two clusters there is a single crochet here single crochet of the color a so we will make a v stitch there for v stitch we will make a dc in that stitch then chain and again a dc for yarn over and insert the hook in that same space and make a dc there so this is how we have created a v stitch here now next v stitch we will make here between these two clusters we have a single crochet below two rows so yarn over insert the hook in that sc and pull through it 
so we are taking v stitch two row below a dc chain yarn over insert the hook in the same stitch pull now pull through two loops we have two loops left on the hook we will pull through two and this is how we have completed our v-stitch now we will make a next v-stitch here so we are working two row below's a v-stitch for v-stitch we are making dc chain and again dc in the same stitch So we are making V stitch in all these stitches of the previous row. So after making these V stitches in the single crochet two row below, now in the last we will make in this single crochet a DC. So ignore this chain and make a DC here. So now our second row we will start from here this side because we are working two rows in the same direction. So we will reach on this end and we will start from here. So keep this loop hanging here and insert the hook in this chain and pull this loop of the previous color. I am working two rows with the same color so I am pulling this color we can add a new color also here and now we are making three chain and a 3dc cluster in this V stitch so in each V stitch we will make 3dc cluster Here it is. First V stitch we will make 3 DC. Now we will make one chain and a next 3 DC cluster in this V stitch. chain 1 and now we will make the next cluster in this V stitch and then in each V stitch we will make clusters. After making this last 3 DC cluster in this last V stitch we will make a chain and a single crochet here where the loop is hanging there we will make a single crochet after making this single crochet we will grab this hanging loop of the previous color or a color a
and then pull it through the next color loop like this and now our both the rows in the same direction are completed so we will make two chain with sorry with yellow color and then turn our project and we will make a v stitch here in this stitch in this in this so we are making basically v stitch on the head of this previous cluster in this yellow stitch hole there is a little hole on every 3d c cluster of the previous row so we are making there v stitches so here in this first we have a hole here so we will make there a v stitch chain and v stitch uh, dc perfect now we will make a v stitch here so every time we are making v stitch with color a in the previous row of color a only so we are working in color a only next we will make here a dc chain and dc in this same stitch dc chain and dc so we will make all the v stitches in this between two clusters the last v stitch here on this head of this cluster dc chain and a dc and now we will end this row by making a dc here in this place so every time we will end with dc to make a straight and a clean edge of our project like this now keep this row loop hanging here and we will add a new color here we will insert our hoop in this chain space and take a new color loop here so now with this new color we will make three chain and then start our cluster stitch in this v stitch so like previous row we are working a cluster stitch in this v stitch again in this row also we are making 3 dc in the same v stitch between two 3 dc clusters we are making one chain and then in this next v stitch we will make 3 dc cluster here so in each v stitch we will make 3 dc cluster and we will make a chain between these two clusters 
at the end of the row we will make one chain and then we will make a single crochet here in this last DC of the previous color or uh, color A so we will make a single crochet here grab the yarn and a single crochet now we will make a V stitch again so every time we are repeating these row of V stitch and then the row of 3DC cluster so after 3DC cluster we will make a V stitch here between these two clusters we will create V stitches here so for that again we will grab this loop and we will pull that loop color A loop through color B loop or C loop so I will make it properly so finally got it now we will every time we start with this A color with two chain and turn the project and we will make a V stitch on the head of the cluster so here the first cluster of the previous row is here so we will make a V stitch here so DC and two row below insert your hook and the DC there chain and again in the same we are making VC so this is how we are creating V stitches so next here two row below insert the hook yarn pull the two through two and again pull through two loops a chain and again one more DC here and ah, perfect so this is how we are creating a V stitch the row of V stitch so we are repeating all these rows you can add a new color this way and uh, make your project This is how we are making this Moroccan tile stitch. So in the end we will make a DC, ignore this chain and make a DC here. So here we are making some eight clusters in the next row we are making seven again eight and now we will make a seven cluster so eight clusters seven clusters eight clusters and now one two three four five six and seven clusters we will make in this row and I am switching the same color two times and then taking a new color in the next row so keep this loop hanging here and now start from here this pull this thread and now we will make three chain and a cluster here and start this row so let's do so this three chain I am making a cluster of 3DC here in this V stitch and in each V stitch I am making 3DC clusters at the end I will make a single crochet on the side of this hanging loop and now pull this hanging loop through this existing loop and now we will create a V stitches here on the head of the previous uh, row cluster and this is how 
we can increase the length of our, of our project uh, this stitch looks beautiful on the blankets of guns uh, binis and uh, pillow covers so this is how we can make this moroccan tiles stitch thank you